Okay, so basically, I have converted the uh, uh, this into a finite set of equations. So it's basically a of instead of v. So so let me actually write that down here. So a of v w plus b of v equal zero is converted into a of v equal to w one and w equal to summation of 1 to n x i w i plus b of w1 equal to 0. The first equation, second equation a of w2, still the same summation of x i w i plus b of w2 equal to 0, etc. Up to a of w n, summation of x i w i plus b of w n is equal to 0, right? If I if I enforce the, all of these equations, I can multiply the, the first equation by any a1, multiply the second equation by any a2, multiply the last equation by any an, and I add them up. Then the first term becomes any v, and also this becomes the correspondence v, right? So basically, then I enforce the the uh, the bilinear form for any v. Right. Any, right. So okay. So so then we use also the linearity of a with respect to the second argument. So this is then converted into I can pull this summation out of this a summation of x goes from one to n x i times a of w one w i w1 wi plus b of w1 is equal to zero and uh, it's actually the last one being combination of xi times a of w n wi plus b of w n equal to zero right now this is actually pretty clear it's a linear system the well, uh, so this is this is b of w one, b of w two, b of w n, and the unknown is x one, x two, x n, and the matrix is simply a of w one, w one, a of w two, w one, a of w n, w one, and a of w 1, W2, etc, etc, up to A of W1, WN, and A of WN, WN. Alright, so this is, this is now just to solve AX equal to B, and we get the X, we plug in X back into the form of W equal to summation of XI, WI, we get the solution W, and that's the way we do finite elements. All right. Yes. How do you take out the summation? How do I take out that summation? So how do I go from here to here? That's basically using the linearity of a with respect to the second argument. Right. A is a bilinear function, which means a of w, uh, for example, a of w one, and. Uh, uh, x1 w1 plus x2 w2 is actually equal to first let's split that apart w1 and x1 w1 plus a of w1 x2 w2 right okay then we can move them out so this is equal to x1 times a of w1 w1 plus x2 times a of w1 w2 right so 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 forth i mean even if this is not a summation of two terms, but a summation of n terms, I can do the same. The end result is the, the linear combination coefficients is going to be pulled out of this A and uh, turns into a summation outside of the A. So linear combination of the elements within the A is the same as the linear combination outside the A. That's a typical application of uh, linearity. All right.
Okay, so next the lecture we're actually going to code this up into computer and uh, see finite elements in action. Alright, see you on Wednesday.